In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate together with the Church the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. When the angel appeared to a young lady named Mary to bring her the good news of the Incarnation. Let us thank the Lord for this initial grace. Let us be grateful that Mary said yes. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us also acknowledge that we are all sinners in need of God's mercy. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, <clears throat> that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. And on, and earth, on earth, peace, peace to people, people of goodwill. goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who willed that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, Grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the release, Peter and John went back to their own people and reported what the chief priests and elders had told them. And when they heard it, A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. 
The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the nether world, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask. I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is not enough for you to weary people. Must you also weary, my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord. I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wished not, but ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocausts or sin offerings you sought not. Then said I, Behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll, it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips, as you, Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret of your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me. In holocaust and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as it is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, Sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. But this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Word of God became flesh and made His dwelling among us, and we saw His glory.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be called Holy, son, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her who was called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Isang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Mga ginigili kong kapatid, anong ipinagdiriwang natin ngayon sa araw na ito? Well, as I have said at the beginning of the Mass, we celebrate the solemnity of the Annunciation. It was supposed to be on March 25, but March 25 fell on Holy Monday, and therefore the solemnity has to wait until after second Sunday of Easter. Kaya naging April 8. Kaya nga delay daw ang Christmas. No? Kaya ang Christmas natin, January 8. Kasi nine months eh. No? But we are not only celebrating the Annunciation. Hindi lamang yung pagbabalita ng Anghel ang ipinagdiriwang natin ngayon. Ang pangalawang ipinagdiriwang natin ay ang pagtugon ni Maria ng oo. Kasi kahit na nagbalita ang anghel, nang, mag, nang nagdalas ang anghel ng magandang balita na si Maria ay napili ng Diyos na maging ina ng kanyang kaisa-isang anak, kung hindi na mas sumagot si Maria ng oo, uuwi ang anghel, babalik ang anghel sa langit at sasabihin niya sa, sa Diyos, sorry, no? ayaw eh. No? That is why we are celebrating not only the good news brought by the angel, we are celebrating also the yes of Mary. In the history of man, there has been no, there has been no response that has changed the course of history of the world except the no of Adam and Eve. Yung paghindi ni na Adan at Eva ang nagbago ng takbo ng kasaysayan ng tao. Hindi tayo dapat namamatay eh. Hindi dapat pumasok ang kasalanan. Pero dahil sa pagtanggi ni na Adan at Eva sa gusto ng Diyos, yung kanilang paghindi, nagbago ang takbo ng 
Isang katauhan. And that was the only response then that changed the course of world history. And this is the second one from a human being. Tao si Adan, tumanggi sa gusto ng Diyos. Tao si Maria, umoo sa gusto ng Diyos. At dahil doon, ang anak ng Diyos ay makabababa. Isang Diyos na umoo din sa gusto ng Ama. So that is why Mary is the model of our yes. Why? Because even if Mary did not understand everything, malabo sa kanya ang mga ilan, may mer- meron siyang mga katanungan, siya sumang-ayon. Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it done to me according to your word, even if I do not fully understand your word. That is how we should say yes to the Lord. Kapag may pinagagawa ang Diyos sa atin, karaniwan naman, hindi natin naiintindihan ng kompleto eh, no? Anong mangyayari sa akin? Paano na ako? No, ganun, di ba? Bago tayo sumagot, ang dami nating tanong. Sapagkat hindi natin ang naiintindihan ng ganap kung ano ang kalooban ng Diyos. Ganun din naman ang mahal na birhen. She did not fully understand God's plan. But even then, she said, yes. She is our model. Model of obedience to the Father. Pero alam nyo, hindi naman natapos yung yes ni Maria nung araw na yun eh. Ito lagi ko sinasabi, the big yes of Mary was followed by small yeses. Kinakailangan pa rin niyang umoo sa kanilang paglalakbay patungo sa Bethlehem upang doon manganak. Kinakailangan pa rin niyang umoo upang sila tumungo sa Ehipto sapagkat tinutugis ang bata at gustong patayin. Kinakailangan pa rin umoo ni Maria sa pagkamatay ni Jose. Bago, man lang, bago pa man nagsimula ng pangangaral si Jesus, kinakailangan umoo ni Maria sa kanyang anak na nagpapaalam para magsimula ng kanyang pangangaral. Kinakailangan pa rin umoo ni Maria sa kagustuhan ng Diyos nung makita niya ang kanyang anak nakabayo by sa krus. Kinakailangan pa rin umoo ni Maria sa pagkamatay ng kanyang anak sa krus habang kandong-kandong niya ang walang buhay na katawan ni Jesus. Mary said his, her yes today, but that yes did not end today. They were followed, that was followed by other yeses. Mary perhaps asked the Lord, I did not sign for this. Pero ganun eh, pag umoo ka sa Panginoon, marami pa rin pakasunod na pag-oo yun. Katulad ko bilang pari, umoo ako sa tawag ng Diyos na maging pari. Hindi natapos yun sa aking pagpasok ng seminaryo. Hanggang sa ako'y dumapa, kasama ng ilang kong mga kaklase, dito mismo sa altar nito noong 1985, pero yung oong yon may mga kaakibat na mga iba pang mga pag-oo. Oo sa pagpunta ko sa iba't ibang mga assignments. Oo sa pagpunta ko dito. At yun din ay nangangahulugan ng paghindi sa maraming bagay. Hindi ako pwedeng mag-asawa. Hindi ako pwedeng magkaroon ng sariling pamilya. Ganon din sa inyo. Nung ikinasal kayo, hindi ba't umoo din kayo? Pero hindi natapos yung oong yon nung araw ng inyong kasal. Ang dami niyong mga pag-oo at pag-hindi. Dahil may asawa ka na, 
hindi ka naman liligaw sa iba. Hindi ka mamamangka sa dalawang ilog. At yun ang tinut- tinutularan natin kay Maria. Ang kanyang pag-oo, unang-una sa araw ng pagbabalita ng anghel sa kalooban ng Diyos at ang kanyang pag-oo sa maraming pagkakataon sa kanyang buhay. Sana, mga ginigili kong kapatid, matularan natin si Maria. Maging katulad tayo ni Maria, babae ng pananampalataya. A woman of faith saying yes always to the Father's will. Amen. Please stand. Let us profess our faith. I believe in one, one God, God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and the whole body of Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. Please kneel. Please all stand. For our sake, sake he, was he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the, Lord, the, giver, the giver of light, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Through the faithful obedience of the Blessed Virgin Mary, God takes flesh among us. The mystery of the Incarnation calls us to our loving Father through the Incarnate Son. To every petition, our response would be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, <clears throat> hear our prayer that the Church may be seen as the incarnation of the working body of Jesus Christ let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That people of goodwill may learn that Christ has united himself with every person in taking our human nature. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That scientists and technologists may work with noble ideals to further human dignity and happiness, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That pregnant mothers may welcome the new life as Mary welcomed her son, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have died may be forgiven of their sins, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father of the Incarnate Word, we bring our intentions before you, the fabric of our daily lives, made holy by your Son, our brother in the faith. 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. true goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life blessed be God forever <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the <coughs> sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering, so that she who is aware that her beginnings lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate His mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for men's sake, by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly, she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises to the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please stand. Let us pray. <clears throat> Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man, we may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, who through the childbearing of the Blessed Virgin Mary, willed in his great kindness to redeem the human race, be pleased to enrich you with this blessing. Amen. May you know always and everywhere the protection of her through whom you have been found worthy to receive the author of life. Amen. 
may you who have devoutly gathered on this day carry away with you the gifts of spiritual joys and heavenly rewards. Amen. And may the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. <laughs>